Hi! I wanted to come on here today and talk about the Divine Masculine's mission because I'm sure there are some Divine Feminines uh, that may be wondering if the Masculines do have a mission because we know that the Divine Feminines definitely have a mission and so yeah this could be a question so I thought I would go over that today. Now I did a video a while back on the Divine Masculine and whether or not they are spiritual. And in that video, I discussed how the Divine Masculine's spirituality is not necessarily the same as the Divine Feminine's. So remember, these two energies or these two polarities are sometimes acting quite differently. And this is a good thing. We need to have uh, differences. We need to have the balance of, well, in this case, the Divine Feminine being the spiritual twin, actually, and the Divine Masculine being the grounded physical twin, as I call it. And oftentimes I refer to different methods of show, showcasing this as, for one instance, I, I use the analogy of a tree because twin flames are like the system of a tree. I did a video on that too that I highly recommend you watch. But in that one, I talk about how the masculine is like the, the roots down in the ground because they are the grounded twin and the divine feminine are the leaves up the top and the fruit and how it's a whole system. And so the divine feminine has a mission that oftentimes is more spiritual in nature because of the qualities of the Divine Feminine. The Divine Feminine rules within the three top chakras of the chakra system. You know, the Divine Feminine may have more of a vision. They can see into the spirit world easier. They can feel and read energy. Using their gifts of intuition and tapping into the collective consciousness as well as energy healing. Now this isn't always going to be the case either, I have to mention as well, because there are different masculines and there are different feminines and we don't all come here to do the same thing. Another thing that the Divine Feminine could have as a spiritual mission is to be a caretaker for others, whether that is for children, or the elderly, sense of maybe a nurse, or something along this lines. So caring for others, basically. Um, the Divine Feminines will have a strong inclination towards helping others in this sort of way. Maybe also emotionally as counselors as well. So there's definitely going to be variations. Now the Divine Masculines, on the other hand, theirs is going to look differently. There's going to be a larger majority of Divine Masculines that are going to have a more grounded spiritual mission or just mission in general. And this is going to be different as well here for all Divine Masculines. Remember, we have a whole range of uh, potentials here. We have zodiac signs that are going to be more inclined towards doing certain things as well. And we are going to just have different life path outcomes, basically. And, you know, our soul's mission, our soul in general, we're, we don't all have the same soul. So what we are guided to do. And remember, you know, we have to have different areas of things that are getting done, right? That's how God works. We're not all stamped out to be the same. And it's, it's for a reason, because we need to have all of these different types of work be getting done. However, there's going to be a larger majority of the masculines that are going to have missions that are going to be revolving around more grounded activities. Some of these grounded activities could be something like a volunteer firefighter, somebody who is a search and rescue helper who goes out and, you know, rescues people that have gotten lost out in the wilderness somewhere. This could also be something like being in the army even, something, you know, the defending and protecting, things like this. This is a physical thing. But then on another side of things, we could also have some masculines that where their mission has to do with writing. You know, I see that quite a lot. There's a lot of writers and public speakers 
musicians making music, physical trainers or athletes in some way as well. All of these things are actually needed in society. We need to have all of these different aspects and different types of work getting done uh, in our society to make it a whole system. So not all divine masculines are going to have the same mission, nor would divine feminines. There are going to be some variations within the missions. And these can these can be very much guided just like they are for the divine feminine and they can also start out just as a small action and some it kind of grows like that mission may grow for instance my own masculine um, who is a volunteer firefighter and also a search and rescue person and his mission started out well when he was a, a bit younger you know when he um, basically had witnessed a car crash a car had um, basically gone into a body of water and he was a very brave bystander a witness of it so he had stopped and basically jumped in and rescued the people out of their car and you know unfortunately witnessed some of them dying and he was he was actually there for them as they were dying um, and was helping basically you know he he um, was actively participating in in helping them and just being there for them as you know one of them was actually had died in his arms basically which is very tragic and then later he also uh, began bodybuilding and getting into his fitness and then he also ended up having a, a very big interest in high altitude climbing and from there um, that's where these interests into being a search and rescue person. So he had the physical ability and he had this passion and this drive for it. So, you know, these things w will happen, you know, along their way that will sort of prepare them and align them to do the type of work that they're going to be do doing as far as their mission goes. And as you can see, these are very physical activities. These are very physical grounded types of things that are necessary, right? We, we need to have that masculine energy out there being those firefighters, right? Being out there to, to physically help others in these sort of more dynamic sort of ways. Now, obviously, like I said, not all masculines are going to be doing those sorts of things. There are different, you know, abilities that people have and they have different talents. And so whatever their talents are and whatever their abilities are, that's where they're going to be guided and naturally drawn to. So being on an awakening journey and being spiritual in nature doesn't always have to be... Um, where we're focusing on metaphysics, focusing on, you know, tapping into the collective consciousness and all of these things, um, you know, you can actually be very spiritual, but in a very grounded sort of way. These things are very spiritual. To, to do that is, you know, your soul's purpose. It's, it's led by your soul to do that. They are also very, very wise. And I mentioned this in that video, so I would recommend that you watch the one on whether or not the Divine Masculine is spiritual, um, because it's important to really understand that there are these polarities at work. There are these different you know, modalities, and they each are playing a part that's very necessary. So just because it's, you know, not the same type of spirituality that you have as the divine feminine, be you know, because you're operating from a totally different energy frequency up in those three top chakras, they are literally working from those three lower chakras that's you know, it's earthy, it's grounded, it's power, you know, that's what I keep saying, it's this powerful energy, it's very strong energy, and so it's going to show up in their work, it's going to show up in their mission as this courage, they've got to have this courage to do these very, you know, dangerous things at times, you know, they have to have also the wisdom to have integrity as well, wisdom and integrity, so it's good to just understand that, that the Divine Masculines will definitely have a mission, and it could look different than what 
you know, we would expect spiritual missions to look like. They're not all going to be the same. You know, there is going to be something. There's going to be something there that they're going to be guided for. They're going to be prepared for. It will usually, like I said, unfold in a small way and it will grow through these natural talents, this natural ability that they have to sort of do whatever they came here to do. And we do need all of these different modalities. So the feminines are playing their part, the masculines are playing their part, and neither is greater or lesser than the other. And seeing how they are both very important. So maybe the Divine Feminine is giving emotional support in one case as that being their mission of being an emotional support person and then the masculine is more of this physical protector this physical helper that goes out and rescues people well you know that's how they can work together is that the feminine emotionally supports the masculine so that he can go out and do his work you know this really um, dangerous and challenging work but you know it makes it easier for him he gets empowered by the emotional support that he was he or she receives from the divine feminine and the divine feminine can step out more boldly and do their mission when the divine masculine is supporting them and being that grounded energy kind of like that rock that holds it together that's that protective force that provider as well they create this safety around the feminine that they can be a bit more bold about going out and doing what they need to do as well so it's a beautiful system when they are in harmony and they're working together and when you understand that they're each playing an important role but yes to answer that question the divine masculines absolutely have a mission and it's good to recognize and to appreciate some of the things that they do do we really couldn't have a society and we couldn't have what we have here today without them they are definitely needed they do a lot of the hard work that the divine feminines are not equipped to do they have a certain strength they are you know building homes they are helping people build homes they are doing a lot of this important work that's difficult it's, it's challenging things to do so they are much needed and so yeah it's good to appreciate and support them and understand that that is their spiritual mission and to to understand that that's actually what it can look like and often does when we're looking at the divine masculine because of this grounded earthy energy that is very physical in nature as we move into new earth there is this merging of the heaven and earth but we're there's still going to be work to be done there's still going to be a need for people to be helpers in these sort of more physical ways as well i'm going to go ahead and finish off here for today i am sending you so much love i thank you so much for listening and i will talk to you later bye